morning bulldogs it's thursday april 9th it's your last day before this unusual spring break um and i am here for your final update video um for a little while um maybe i'll post something over break um but who knows i am in a different spot today i am here with Budley, and this is just more comfortable for her here on the couch so I thank you for, so many of you sent some nice messages about Bully. And you know what? With everything you guys are dealing with too, I'm going to take the time to do that. I really appreciate it. So she's gotten medicine to help her feel better and to help her eat. But unfortunately, it hasn't been working. She hasn't eaten since that last video. But tell her she has one more day. She needs to try to eat. So let's, um, fingers crossed because I would love to have her in the video and on your turn. All right, so I'm gonna go through two um, slides real quick on the news. The first one's from the New York Times. Um, and I just covered um, some of the headlines for this week. So um, Thursday is when the unemployment numbers come out and it says that it's expected to surge by millions um, today. So I know like two weeks ago, it was like 3.3 million. It was over 6 million um, last Thursday. And the numbers should usually, they usually come out at nine, I think. Um, if you check, um, they're probably up by the out by the time you, you're watching this. And I do know a few of you um, get started early. Um, so we'll see. And they said, actually, and those numbers are probably under reporting the actual unemployment numbers because some places are, there's these long lines and people can't really wait in these long lines right now. Um, they also have been tracking the genome for all you science folks of this coronavirus. And they're saying that most of the cases in New York um, are not actually from China, but were from um, people who traveled to or from Europe. Um, and it started in a, a couple cases, actually, they said by mid-February um, that was occurring. I mean, there's, you know, a lot of different stories about the coronavirus. Um, there's some STEM and tech related articles um, about Zoom um, and some of the security issues that it's facing. But also, I thought this was interesting, the humble phone call makes a comeback. Since times with like texting, not many people make phone calls anymore. And it's about how since people can't see each other, even if you're not video conferencing, that more people are making phone calls. I know I've uh, chatted with my sister a couple times over the past few days. Um, my kid's grandmother and stuff like that. Um, so are you making any phone calls with your friends? Or maybe you're just FaceTiming. Who knows? But feel free to share. Um, the photos in the front page of the New York times did feature, um, Elizabeth, New Jersey was one of them, but I couldn't, um, copy that. This is, uh, unfortunately a photo of a burial, um, in Brazil. Um, interestingly enough, what is not on the front page, um, is actually what I, I shared with you on Google classroom, just a little update yesterday. I saw some of you saw it was that Bernie Sanders did, um, drop out of the race. So there's not many more of, if you still got your map, there's not much more we'll be shading in. Um, well, we'll find something. If you've been keeping up with this, I do want to acknowledge that you've done it. So maybe we'll um, post something after break. So don't throw them out um, if you, if you still have them. All right. And then the BBC, well, do you hear that car? No, hold on. Look. This car, no, do you see it? Do you see it right there? He's, been at it since 6 30 again well he started last friday and uh yeah it went from cute to driving us insane <laughs> all right so the bbc news um i didn't see a story about prime minister johnson um on on the front page which i found interesting i know he supposedly spent his second night in icu so i'm not sure how he's doing um that they reported that there's um about 105 cases that have been reported Right. You probably know a lot of people that think they have it, but haven't been able to get tested worldwide. Um, an article here, which was not in the front page of the New York Times, is that Linda Tripp passed away yesterday um, from pancreatic cancer. Um, and she was famous. You could probably ask your parents if you wish. Um, uh, she like recorded conversations with Monica Lewinsky um, that helped. Help is the right word. Um, 
with those impeachment hearings. Um, she was originally from Jersey City, so a Jersey girl. Um, also, there was a story about the pink supermoon seen around the world. And if you go to the BBC, you can see all these images from how it looked all around the world. Hopefully you got a chance to go out and see it. I know when I was walking Budley, um, you know, one in the morning, three in the morning, five in the morning, I said it was very bright outside from that moon. I didn't even need like my cell phone light or anything like that. Um, so if you have any pictures, if you took it, feel free to share them. Put them on Google Classroom or even on our attendance discussion. Um, if you wish. So for today, I can help you. You don't need to see me. You'd rather see Budley. Let's be honest. For today, you're doing two um, industrial revolution videos. Um, there's one on its causes, and also one on the um, on why it began in England. And then there's two um, forms. I'm going to take those two forms and average them together for a grade. Um, so if you get like 100 on one and an 80 on another, you get a 90. So that's not bad. I have an open-ended question at the end of each form. It's not graded. It's just feedback for me. Um, please take the time to respond because I didn't get to do some of the other things this week. I wanted to get feedback from you guys. So I'd like to at least just check in and hopefully you'll have more different things to start when we come back after break. So I look forward to reading those. Um, there is um, your National Poetry Month, your April's project posted. Um, here on Canvas, um, there's a document that gives you everything you need. There's a video where I recorded last week that explains in detail what you need to do. Um, a spreadsheet you fill out just to, I know what, who you're doing, like doing and date wise. And then also a doc that you answer some questions. Um, it is not due per se until April 30th. Um, if you want a four, you may want to do it, um, a bit ahead of time. Uh, if it is not by any means meant to be a break project, right? There's time for you to do it afterwards. There's time for you to probably even do it today. It's not very labor intensive or time intensive. Um, but I will purposely have a few very short assignments. Um, today's pretty should be short with the two videos and forms. Um, afterwards we'll have a, a journal entry. So, um, to give you some time to work on it so you don't need to work it on it after break. But what I would do is go ahead and um, at least reserve who you want in your spot on that spreadsheet um, just to give you as many options as possible. Okay, if you have any questions, um, I know this week I have not been as, as quick on my emails uh, with everything here we're taking care of, but I, I, I am on my email every day. I will check it and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, over break, I'll still be checking. I, you know, I won't be on the computer like I am all day um, since school's been in this format, but I will check in. Um, and I hope you guys, if you've been celebrating um, Passover or Easter or any other holiday, I know it's a little different this year, but I hope you can enjoy it the best you can. This photo actually is of um, Lenten services happening in um, Panama where the bishop is doing it uh, via helicopter, which is interesting. So I, I know you can't see your families the way you probably um, are used to, but um, you know I hope you find a way to in enjoy your holiday. Please stay safe. Um, please be well. I hope you can get outside safely. Um, hopefully you won't see this cardinal um, after break, but you will partly. Um, and thank you for, um, for, the, once again, for the nice messages and I hope we'll have some good news when we get back. So say goodbye, Budley. Say we miss all these kids. We miss saying bye as they walk in the door and all their our conversations, right? Um, and we miss them and we hope they're well. Say be safe, everyone, right? And say please give me vibes to eat. Maybe that will help. All right. Take care, Bulldogs. Miss y'all. Be well.